Hi, I'm Andre from ImpactEtching.com. Today, I'm in Titusville, Florida. This town is located on the other side of Intercoastal Waterway from Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy Space Center is like five miles that way. Um, I came today to this park to check on the engraving that one of our customers created and inaugurated in this park 10 years ago. I want to see how that engraving fared in hot Florida sun. This park celebrates all of the big U.S. space programs, such as Gemini, Apollo, and among them, there's a section in here that is dedicated to space shuttle programs. All of the, uh, all of the memorials in this park are created with the machine sold by my company, Impact Etching Machine. It was actually the first generation of the machine we started to offer. 11 years ago, it was called Grand Grand. The machines we're offering now are twice as fast. So let's just walk to our, the centerpiece of this memorial and see how the engraving survived 10 years of Florida sun. By the way, uh, all of these pillars, they contain the small um, pieces of granite with names of uh, engineers that were working on the program, as well as nice engraving of the space shuttle. They are also 10 years old. Um, and there's a, there's actually a section here that's dedicated to, to the crew lost, um, on the Challenger flight. We can take a look at it as well. Somebody left flowers, as you can see. Okay. So, um, I'm approaching now the centerpiece of this memorial. It's, uh, I don't even know how to call it. It's, uh, it's a piece which has six walls, pretty big ones, each wall commemorating a different space shuttle. So um, it was all created with the machine offered by my company. It is all natural diamond engraving, just the engraving in polished granite. No paint was applied at all. And as you can see, after 10 years of relentless Florida sun, it looks just as bright because there's nothing to deteriorate. There's no paint. The natural diamond engraving is way brighter than, uh, than the laser engraving. More interestingly, though, uh, all of these six huge walls were actually created with a compact machine. The gentleman who was working on this project is a former NASA, uh, NASA engineer himself. And what he did, he suspended the machine from the ceiling and he was pushing it against the uh, the stone and engraving it in pieces, which is kind of easy to do here. But there's another interesting uh, interesting wall here where you can see continuous uh, outline of the map, which was also created in pieces. And actually, I have a video on my channel. I'll put it in the description of this particular video. There will be another video that shows how this particular wall was created. It was actually shot by that nice gentleman who sent that video to me. Um, so this is Enterprise. Essentially, I'm, I'm amazed by how well everything looks after 10 years. It's just absolutely pristine. Challenger. And very nice schematics, black and white ones, the photographs. That's the beauty of diamond engraving. You don't need any paint. It looks bright and sparkling. It will last for as long as the polish lasts. It will never deteriorate. Well, well I guess that's it for now. I'm off to watch uh, SpaceX launch, which happens in one hour, you need to hurry up. And if you are interested in learning more about our machines, the place to go is impactetching.com or call me. The phone number will be shown after this video. Thank you very much for watching.